leaving Kenya. It was a very good trip. Now we're heading to Entebbe, Uganda to see the gorillas. So that's all. All right, so at Entebbe Airport now, and this is the best boarding pass I've ever gotten in my life. Ta -da! <laughs> okay, so one of the reasons why I have to do the trips first before offering it to the clients because like right now we're in Uganda and I've been asking people what our gate number is, they don't know. So we can't let this happen to our clients. Again, quality control. So it's better to invest in trips first and do it by myself rather than making mistakes uh, with someone else's trip, you know, they don't deserve that. So now I'm just waiting for a flight to Bewindi to do the gorilla trip. Are you ready? Bueno, pues estoy en Uganda. Vamos a ir en esta chatarra espacial a, a la isla de los gorilas. Alright, so about to make my dream come true to do the gorilla trek in Uganda. Let's do this. That was our plane, and this is the biggest airport I've ever been. Now we're ready. Are you ready? Not yet. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Western Uganda. So, the, the southwestern Uganda is, is, is the last part of, um, of, of Uganda and it borders the Democratic Republic of Congo yes. in the south. Right. This is really now where I'm Okay, I used to all see all the states on National Geographic and now I'm in Uganda. It's such a dream come true. So our first stop is supermarket where we are gonna buy our food because we're staying in the National Park, which is like two hours away from here. So food is a must. Are you ready? It's ready, it's ready. All right, so this is a typical supermarket in Uganda. Well, not really Uganda, I mean in the countryside of Uganda, so I'm so amazed right now, as in sobra, that I've been watching this, now I'm here, and these are my dream trips, you know? These are the things I want Filipinos to do, my God, out of comfort zone, talaga, see? Things you see on the road in Uganda, this is like normal. Hey, Uganda, this is 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 Uganda, rich country. I mean, coffee everywhere, tea everywhere. Pero kinuha na Starbucks lahat ng credits. So, ayun. This, these are the trips, um, these are my dream trips, you know, that I do for myself and of course, uh, to promote it in the Philippines, but it has been really challenging for me to educate people on this kind of um, travel because people are so into first world countries, shopping, good food, and these comfort zones, you know. So uh, um, I hope someday ma nila yung hard work I put into making these tours and of course the effort. So okay, so just arrived here. This will be our home for the next five days, and we saw zero tourists on the way. So these are the places I really recommend if you want to disconnect from everyone and appreciate life and the hard work that you do. You know and to enjoy your money. Oh my goodness. So Ranganda, let's do the check. So this is our room in Uganda. First glimpse of the gorilla and our view. So right now, there are no tourists at all. Diba? This is the tourism I want everyone to experience with access. Of course, we've been here just for 10 years. I mean, in the industry, so we still have I still have my whole life to promote anything I want. That's the great thing about tourism, you know? Sky's the limit. Okay, so uh, before I enjoy everything, which is what I've been trying to do, that's the goal for this year. 
that while I'm working, I will try to enjoy everything. So, you know, I was so grateful in Kenya. There was no internet in their rooms, just in the lobby. So that's why right now I have 400 emails to answer. But I think uh, since Access is turning 10, now I can try to enjoy a bit of what I've worked on. So now, here we are. Walang tourists, kami lang. So we are now just walking around the town to have a look at how people live here. So I asked our guide, where do they go when they need to buy things? And he said, lahat daw mo bibili sa town, which I find really fascinating because it's such a small town and I didn't see a single shop. So I said, mo bibili ng things, but you know, that's the thing for them. We live in a very, well, again, for them, it's us living a very strange life, but for us, still a man. So I think that's how it is. It's vice versa. So what we feel about them, they feel the same about us. So, you know. So I think we're done with the town. The, the, the town is called Rufilla. Yes. Oh, the, the town is called Ruilla. Ruilla. Okay. So, so this is the so, end of the town. This is the end of the town. Dead end. It was just a 10 minute walk. Hey, <laughs> more or less. All right, so we're visiting a school and an orphanage near a lodge. So if you travel with access, some of the proceeds will go to this place, you know. Normally what I do is I send the my contribution to them once in a while or I send it through someone when someone is visiting or I just ask our suppliers to give them the money. So, yeah. So now... Okay, wait, I, I, wait, okay. Let's get inside the classroom. Five boys. It's a classroom. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. So, so what happened? <laughs> Moses serving our dinner. We feel so private and VIP. And Vincent is joining us. Vincent mm -hmm. is our guide on this trip. And this guy just decided to join us. We saw her on the street. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's all. Good morning. Today is a big day. Today is the big day. We're going to do the trek with gorillas. Yay. But first, breakfast. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Morning. I am already getting away. <laughs> so but. nothing to say so far. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we just finished our briefing for the gorilla track and we're about to start in 15 minutes. So how it works? Um, of course, there are several briefings to begin with, and um, the rangers and the security will go with everyone. That's why you pay a lot for this trip, because there are rangers involved, private guide, private driver, private car, and everything. And uh, only eight people in a group can access a park at the same time. I mean, right now, there are just two groups, so eight times two, only 16 people going inside the forest to see the gorillas. So that's why you pay really expensive, you know, for this kind of thing. So, yes. Do we have two liters of water? I don't think so. Virgilio? I don't think so. We are not ready. <laughs> Let's go? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy this moment very, very well. They're here, but for them, they're up, down there, moving up and down, looking for the family. I believe they will alert them, and we start our viewing, we make speed successfully. They're doing very well. All right, so we have reached a point where the gorillas are, but I'm going to keep my phone down because I want to concentrate and focus on this before I lose my phone and myself. All right, so... This is a magic day. So our gorilla trip is done. Once in a lifetime experience. Probably one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life since I started Access Travel. Virgilio. Yeah, it was the, one of the best experiences ever lived. So I am very, very, very 
happy of this. Yay! Time for lunch. Now, Maureen, thank you so much for helping us. Say hi! <laughs> Done with the graduation and got my certificate. Alright, good morning. So, we had a good sleep. And today, for today, we're gonna visit a community in Bewindi National Park. So where I will be showing you everything. So what is this place? This is the church. This, this is the church. The church. Okay. So this is the church of the community. Now I'm gonna go to the toilet first before we start our trip. So here you go. Tea plantation in Uganda because they're really known for having good tea leaves and of course coffee. But then now we continue our walk going up to meet indigenous people let's go all right so we are just walking going to to meet the patwa people up in the mountain and i must say is i can't i've been seeing a lot of poor people so i don't think i've ever seen anything like this before so it's really, I don't know, it's really heartbreaking. I mean, I've seen things like this in the Philippines, but for Brahilio, it's almost his first time to see and encounter things like this. But yeah, these are the trips that makes me appreciate my life more. And this is also one of the reasons why I'm really grateful almost every day, you know, because I've seen the worst. So, I'm gonna continue my walk now and uh, let's see what's up there. Alright, so we skipped to have yes. activities to be done on level go, one go, and we're coming, hiking all the way to coming, level two. Go. When you see very well there, there are some insects inside there. Yeah. They are going to recognize in your or oh, the god of the batwa. <laughs> So I made a new friend and I'm going to introduce her, Sylvia. Hello. Hello. What's the special thing about Sylvia? She's the first Batua woman who officially, who's educated like us. She can speak English and everything. So Sylvia, what's your message to everyone who's going to watch this video? Hello everyone. My name is Sylvia. I'm a first mutual who is educated. I have a master's organizational leadership. I invite everyone to come and support the Batwa so that you can also get education. You can come to Uganda, you visit Batwa, you visit the gorillas. Uganda is a unique country. So it is good to have visitors who are supporting us in education and in home building and buying more land for the Batwa because we are, when we were when we were evicted out of the land we are landless, but the visitors, well wishers, they buy for us land, so we wish more visitors to keep on coming and supporting the water community. Thank you. Alright, so before leaving Uganda, we can't leave without trying coffee. That's all for Uganda. Now we're heading to our next destination, Madagascar. <laughs> That's all. Thank you, Uganda. We had fun. Good morning. Woke up in Madagascar. So right now we're here at the railway station of Madagascar and just listening to our guide. Here he is. His name is Judy Sell, so he's telling us all about the history of Madagascar. Getting a tour guide is very, very important to start your trip anywhere in the world because that's how you know the country. So I wasn't able to take any videos last night because I was so tired. We arrived in Tana, or Tana, or Tana whatever, uh, around four in the morning and I had to fix our flight uh, because we're flying today to Mon, where you see the the big tree, so I haven't slept yet because I'm so tired. So now I'm gonna put my phone down and listen to our guy. Gonna try the coconut from Madagascar. Yeah. Yeah. 
Market in Tanan. This is the queen we used to walk going down to the market. Apparently, the sorry along. Seriously. So, Virgilio is so amazed. Me, okay lang kasi marami na ako lang sa Philippines. <laughs> so, now, the moment of truth. We're flying to the west of Madagascar to see the baobab trees. The ones that you see on Google when you type Madagascar. So, my dream and Virgilio's dream. Right, so let's go. So spent three thousand dollars just to see the sunset. Hard work pays off. <laughs> just saw one of the most incredible sunsets ever in Madagascar. Mission accomplished. I'm so glad I'm getting so much stress. Ha, hello. You look shell. You look kalang jan. Yen lang. So we flew in here just for one sunset. Mount Bang. Yun lang. So, lesson learned, great things in life are worth paying for. Right, so we tried to get out of our resort to go to the beach, but ended up fail. Fail lahat. Kasi puro mud. Inet, just ko po. Ayun, wala din nangyari. Puro mud. This girl, man. Uh, bread. And uh, cactus. Uh -huh. uh. Done with our baobab trip, so we're back in and then in Rivo, Rivo, Tana. So we're visiting a park, but for me it's a private zoo, so we can see caged animals. Of course, I've been against that, but you can't control that. But every country has their different traditions and stuff like that, and I need to see everything as much as I can. So we're just roaming around this man-made forest. Where they keep some animals from Madagascar, so you Madagascar Lemur. Hello, hello. Are you ready for this? <laughs> hello, it's her last day in Madagascar and. We, we visited the Lemur Park. I wasn't able to take some videos because I left my phone in the car. So I was just trying to enjoy my last day with... I don't want to say his name. <laughs> Virgilio. So yes, um, this 2020, I'm really trying to make my weekends more about spending my time with my loved ones, with my family and myself. Because I work a lot. Way too much on weekdays. So I really think we, do, we don't really need to take sabbatical break every year or whatever. So even small breaks every weekend, sobrang nagma matter. So ayun lang. That's all for Madagascar. Angry girl. <laughs> 